nonsense that you tell me. What have you just vomited from your mouth, Afoma? Look, Ibide, you need to calm down. It's not what you think. What do you think that I think? Let me tell you what I think. I think that men from Omorola are useless and classless. That's what I think, and that is what I know. You know what? I'm going to rephrase. Have you forgotten that the world see men of Omorola as not only useless, stupid, cowardly, poor, wretched, unproductive, and classless? Did you also forget that they are also? Huh? Ay, Bide. That's not fair and you know it. What are you talking about? Are you telling me that an entire clan that is cursed is not Osu? Eh? Is that what you're telling me? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hiya! How did this happen? No. On my watch, a former. How did you fall prey to a love charm under my watch? He didn't use love charm on me. He did not. Huh? That it means that that young man must have a very sweet tongue to have gotten my sister. But what worries me is how you fell for it. Look, Ibi, the eye. I actually opened up to you because I've always seen you as my ally. Which is why I'm going to find that young man and hunt him down and kill him. What? If he does not retrieve your senses from where he kept it, I am going to take his life and hide it where he will never find it. Ibide. I am your brother. Your big brother. It is my responsibility to guide and protect you from scumbags who want to distract you. Kili kili kana bupo se anayali elu Awa diga bo se inefu Ini amere obudanyo Then was we glinting in the light Ah, Dad! You're back, Dad. Dad, did you hear? I mean, are you aware? Oh, yes, son. I am perfectly aware of what you're about to say. And I have taken care of it. Father, I'm talking about our former. Oh, yes, I know. And I'm telling you, it has been taken care of. In fact, any moment from now, the princess will walk in here to tell me that she is no longer in love with that son of a cow. Fine then. In that case, I guess we just wait. Of course, we'll wait. Hey! I'll cut off that your lying tongue and choke you with it. I'll remove all this nonsense you're putting on and trip you naked. Then I'll cut it into tiny little pieces. Eh? Not before I roast you alive. After which I will finally kill you. I will cut you down and drown you in your own blood. How dare you? Imagine. Look at full grown men. And you think you can deceive us and go away with it? Nah. You lie. You lie. Can you imagine? After making us pay such a ridiculous amount of money and, 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 and what were you thinking? What? That you are such fools that you can just you can just take our money and and, 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 and no no no. He says he can do anything he likes and get away with it. I've been standing here listening to hear what exactly I did. But so far so good, you have not said anything. And I'm running out of patience. Why would you run out of patience? When all you do is extra money from people and give them freaking medicine? Huh? One more profanity from you, I will tell you what it means for me to lose my patient. Now, are you ready to speak or should I send you away? Or oh God, the rape drug and touch and follow you gave to us was fake. It was fake! Yes! Now, eh, let me tell you, your touch and follow was nonsense. 
It is powerless. I don't even want to talk about the sweet tongue. The so-called sweet tongue that you gave to me. That thing is extremely useless. You ruined my life. Okay, you want to know? I will tell you what happened. This is not what the rich doctor told me. Baby, I have a feeling that you're not happy. Come on, my love. Why will you say things like that? I am very happy, if not for anything. And for the fact you're going to give it to me today. I should be, I should be very happy. What did you just say? Wait, wait. I'm going to give you what? Excuse me. Yeah. Ah, Opie. Okay. How far now? Yeah, cool. Gigi. Yeah. Gigi. <laughs> my guy. Okuma, I'm a natural beauty. How are you today? Jiku, what's happening here? Why did he come here knowing that I'm here? And why are you looking at me lustfully? Gigi, see guy, I... I... Hey, Gigi, wait, calm down. Why is she sounding as if she has not been brief? As if you really have done nothing. See, I, I've done everything. I, I've even stopped at the best of wines. Moment ago, she was she was dancing. All of a sudden, she became she just became rigid. Seriously, like, are you both okay? Obama, please, please, just calm down. Don't make this harder for us than it already is. You, uh, you know, just yeah. calm down. Yeah, you know, you know, just make it easier for us and for your sake. Don't come yes. close to me. Yes, you know, you are really feeling tipsy, and I know you are horny as well. Of like, course, you yeah. Take yeah. what's up. What is it? What did I do to you? No, we don't have plans of what things you just. Let's have fun. That's all. Let me let me be that drink for you. Just, allow, just don't allow don't allow touch me. Don't come close to me. Damn Jake, down. what's wrong? Why do you? Come my way, baby. Jake, don't touch me. What's wrong with you? Jake, open the door right now. I'll scream. Oh. Don't touch me. Jake, what's wrong with you? Leave me. I followed the instructions exactly how you gave it to me. What you gave to me produced no result. It didn't work. What you are saying is very, very surprising to me. Because when it comes to love charm, I am the master. No one has ever come back here disappointed. We are telling you that the love potion you gave to us did not work. Or, or you think all of us will, will come here and be lying to you at the same time? Huh? Hey, let me tell you, my own story is very, very pathetic. Even rock and the fool. Ochichi Ribara no Budanyo Anamaju, Anamaju Ogini Kamere o Budanyo Then I heard a voice shouting Yemu's be cleansing in the land Then I heard a voice shouting Yemu's be cleansing Ujuma, eh? every time I asked you out, you always look at me like I disgust you. Hmm? Now, it will take only one touch. <laughs> Just so fuaka, and you will beg me to take you. Chicken, in fact, it doesn't hurt to be extra prepared. Eh? One. You get one, You get Even rock and the fool, or Chichi River and Lobo Daniel. And I'm a Jew, and I'm a Jew, or Giddy Camera, Lobo Daniel. Toman Tomo. Hey, my beauty, eh? 
my love. Hey. Nah. That, that is it. Hey. Hey. Love him. Eh? Phantom. <laughs> love him. What do you want? Is that how to talk to your handsome husband? Eh? Check them out now. I'm gonna fall in love with this. <laughs> Eh, love. Eh, I can see you are now beginning to have a change of heart towards me. Okay. Eh, <laughs> okay. Eh, eh, Mwan, let's go to the bush and what I go. Let's go. Umwen ali ali ginisi. Are you mad? Ha! At first I thought it was a joke. Metu magaka kamuzi segaka. Stupid boy. Push, 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 so I decided to try another day. But each time I try, eh? Each time I try, I keep receiving different kinds of slaps. And now I'm allowed. Now I'm allowed. And now, ma'am. This man is about to go. He's about to go. I particularly thought that I succeeded that day. I trusted the portion you gave me. You may rock and not fall. Or chichi we were no good than you. And I'm a Jew and I'm a Jew. Oh, giddy come here. Uchenna, today I am going to deceive you. You feel you know men, Abi? I am going to lie to you and lie to you without even you knowing it. <laughs> Finally, I'm going to get you to marry me. <laughs> without you even knowing that I've been with Nkiru. I will have you and still enjoy other women. Oh, <laughs> Where have you been? Do you know I've been waiting for you since morning? Is that why your face is like this? I'm sorry now, I am... Onyema! The question is not whether you're sorry or not. The question is, where have you been? Okay, fine. I went to see my grandmother. You remember I told you she has not been feeling fine. So I went to see her. Onyema, I will ask again. Where have you been? Here. But I just told you I went to see my grandmother. What else do you want to hear? What? Onyema, I am going to ask you again, and for the last time actually. Where have you been? I went to see Kiruka. What? 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 what did I just say? Wait, 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 wait. Onyema, you kept me waiting to go see Kiru. No, no, that's not what I said. That's, that's, that, that wasn't what happened. That is what you said. Okay, tell me, what did you do with her? I mean, what did you go to see her for? I slept with her. No, you have to believe me, I did not. No, look, I did not sleep with her. Wait, you... come, come again, you did what? I, I, no, no, that, did I just say that? No, I, 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 did not sleep, I did not sleep with her, I did not. Onyema, get out. Hey. You have to believe me. Listen, Onyema, I really hate to repeat myself. I don't repeat myself. Get out. Amaleja, you have to believe me. I did not. Get out. Get out! Onyema, I am going to count from one to three. If you're not out of here by the time I'm done, you will know why I am the daughter of Onowu. One. Onyama, two. I 
What did I just say? Did I just tell her that I was with Nkiru? Hey! You know, I thought it was just Uchen. But I ended up experimenting three other girls. Each time I try, I will, I will end up spilling the truth, even at my own detriment. Chai. Eh? I will cheat with one girl and tell the other. Yeah, I will also tell who I did it with. Now tell me, where am I ever going to find a wife to marry? The news around her is that I am a heartless Casanova. You are casted. <laughs> Calm down. I need to understand something. Now tell me. Where did you find the maiden you wanted to go down with? Umwebe. Tell me, where did you find the maidens you wanted to go down with? Umwebe. Where did you find the maiden you wanted to go down with? Umwebe, of course. Tell me, where did you find the maiden you wanted to go down with? Umwebe, the same Umwebe. You don't hear them now, it's a moonweb. Now I see. You all are morons. If sleeping with maidens is the only thing you care for, why must it be umwebe? Are there no other kingdoms? Why must it be umwebe? As we call our ancestors, we also call Pong ancient great noble woman Ugoloma, who single handedly waged war against those invaders that trooped into our kingdom with the evil intention of defiling our maidens, our women. Goloma, as we await the festival of the maidens, we call upon you continue to protect, guide, bless our maidens, our women, and every girl child of Umwebe Kingdom. Then I heard a voice shouting, there must be cleansing in the land. Then I heard a voice. Akede Amokana is the priest of Umebe Kingdom, a man of the gods. He always guides them with the rituals of the maidens. The rituals that always immune the maidens of Umebe from the manipulation of mortal men like you. Chukwe, <laughs> I don't understand. Eh? Is this supposed to be a joke or what? Mbo. Or the way to... <clears throat> Do you even know how much you paid you for this thing you are saying now? Nah. You never not corrupt you. You make not okay? And the only reason we agreed to pay you what you asked us to pay you was because you promised to deliver. Oh! Yeah, see, and they take you and beg you. I'm begging you. But now that we know you are nothing, nothing. Can you please give us back the money we eh? paid you? Is he? Ca ca can he? Ca that is what he must do. Yeah, eh? He must pay us every penny we spent. Yeah, he put come 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 the charm I gave to you, I am going to give you again. We know what? Go and try it in other kingdoms, not in Umebe. You will discover that the problem is not with my charm. 
But the problem is in Umebe. I won! If you must do anything, if you must try anything, not with the maidens of Umebe Kingdom. We no want. We no do again. But this is your episode. This is your channel nah, episode. Yeah, we no do. It will not work. We go. Then I heard a voice shouting, Yeah, must be cleansing in the land. Then I heard a voice shouting, Yeah, must be cleansing in the land. You know, I, I saw you last Christmas. I was thinking you're not going to come back again, and I know how hard <laughs> it is for you to leave work. Oh, my dear. We both know how important and beneficial this festival is. Mm -hmm, of course. How stupid could anyone not attend? <laughs> Christmas has nothing to do with this festival. Mm -hmm. Last year, Christmas, I was here because I was on leave, but this one, I personally took permission months ago because I wanted to attend this festival. I cannot miss it. No, I can't. <laughs> Mama, thank God. Though. Thank God you came back. Your mom was sick and worried. I even wanted to call you to ask you to, know, oh, to, you know, to look for a way to come back. Tell her not to be worried. I'm home. Yeah. Come on, my friend. Look at you. you. You're you looking so fresh. You're eating all this vegetable in this plate. <laughs> she said I'm looking fresh. This is how you could eat it. This is happy. <laughs> Thank this you, my friend, look at you. I swear. Hey. Don't worry. <laughs> Man, I'm so happy to see you. Alright, now carry your bag now. Ah, come, come on, just me. What about other people now? What about uh, Ugoma? Every other person? <laughs> hey! Two men. The truth is that I didn't know what was going through their minds. Like, I just kept wondering to myself, even until I got home. They kept staring at me as if they've seen a ghost. Until they ran off. Hey! <laughs> Ugo? So this is how you would have been raped by two guys. Not even one. Two! My dear, I thank God for whoever that thought about the Festival of the Maidens. My sister, same here. Yeah. That festival has been helping us much more than we can explain. I swear. Hey! Well, I, I thought Deku was really a nice person. Hmm. Yeah, I know I brushed him off some time ago, but you don't expect I accept his proposal like that. I did. I, I wouldn't lie. I liked him. But why would you want to rape me? Hey! With two guys. Even with another guy. My sister, you dodged a bullet. <laughs> no matter how I think about it, there will go. You dodged a bullet. So, I now know that loving somebody doesn't mean that you know them well enough. <laughs> Neither does it mean you can trust them. Exactly. That is another thing you should have at the back of your mind. Look at Jeko. Behaving God. like a good person. Yeah. Well, I've learned my lessons. You know, I actually thought about inviting some friends for the ritual festival. Oh, that. Yes. I actually did. You did? Yeah, but not like I was able to convince them. I just kept saying that Christians shouldn't have anything to do with paganism. You know how people can be. I knew they would say that. Which is why I've still not been able to summon the courage and invite the friends I had in mind. I mean, it's not like we ourselves are not Christians. See, people need to understand that being a Christian doesn't mean that you shouldn't partake in some harmless cultural practices or even a traditional ritual. My sister. <laughs> I will never understand why they, they always misunderstand it. Exactly. It's not as if we are doing anything bad. Anyway, it's their loss. Exactly my point. That reminds me. Ugo. What is it? I had a very disturbing dream last night about the princess. What happened? I had a dream where the princess made it clear that she will no longer be a part of the ritual festival. Hey. It's not funny, oh. I don't know why you're laughing. Because it's funny. Because if that has to happen, 
we have to kill the princess, even ourselves too. Exactly. What nonsense is that? <laughs> but Ugo, what if... I beg, enough of it. Not enough of your dreams now. Nah. What are you saying? See, the princess of Umwebe cannot stop the rituals. This has been here for decades, right from when she was small till when she started crawling. Even up till now that she can speak and talk. Aya, answer me. What can stop her? Ogo, I know. But you know the way my dreams are. What if... So you're saying it's not possible? I am not just saying it's not possible. I am saying it will never ever happen. Uchenna, it will not happen. For what now? Stop the rituals. Here. It should better not happen, no. Don't even think about it because it's not possible. It's not, don't go there. What are you saying? Your Majesty, it has happened. Your Majesty, finally, finally, it has happened. Now, what exactly are you talking about? I don't understand. What I am saying, Your Majesty, is that all our efforts to have a successful festival of maidens of Umwebe Kingdom has been shattered. What I am saying is that all the money we have spent, all the energy we have started into this planning, every single thing we have done to make sure that a very successful festival will be organized in this kingdom, everything has been rendered useless, Your Majesty. Now you are beginning to make me to panic. And you know I don't like that. Your Majesty, had it been you were the one who saw what I saw today, Your Majesty, had it been you were the one that witnessed what I witnessed today, you will not just be panicking, Your Majesty, you will actually be weeping. Now, now, now for the last time, what exactly happened? You have not said anything. Your Majesty, it, it, it is about the princess. What? What do you mean the princess? I hope my daughter is not in... Hey, you know, your daughter is not in some kind of trouble. But the problem is that she has put us in trouble. How do you mean? Your Majesty, our former, your daughter, the princess, from what has happened, is no longer qualified to lead. In fact, she is no longer qualified to even participate in the Festival of Maidens of Homeware the Kingdom. Utia kana festival, festival arasa. Umeo dinobi. Now I want you to listen to me keenly. I know there are people in this kingdom, even before I became the king, that are opposed to my leadership. In fact, I know that those are people who are opposed to even my very existence. But I also know that you've been a friend right from the beginning. But what I don't know right now as we speak is whether you have become one of my enemies. But the gods forbid it, Your Majesty. How can you think so? But can you please go ahead and explain to me what you mean about my daughter? Your Majesty, I don't listen to the owners there. It's, I don't know. It's just like... Oh, would you, would you stop this nonsense okay, and speak? Okay. I am just... I am just... I'm running out of patience! It is not as if I cannot say it. As if I cannot just hit the, the nail on the head. I can. And, and what exactly do you mean? Yeah, what I, I just want to find out, Your Majesty. That medication that the doctor gave you that you are required to be drinking one every day for your high blood pressure. I just want to find out if you took it today. There is no views. You want me to force those words out of your mouth. I will. I will say it. Your Majesty, calm down. Calm down. What, Say something! What I am saying, Your Majesty, is that our former, your daughter, that beautiful daughter of yours that you can do everything for. In fact, I can actually say that you can die for her because I know how you love her. That daughter of yours, Your Majesty, is no longer qualified for the festival because she has been defied. Beg your pardon? Your, Your Majesty, the, the princess is having a clandestine affair with a man of Umurola. Umu what? Umurola, Your Majesty. You mean the cost Umurola? That is the only Umurola we know. 
that my daughter is dating a man of Umorala. You modestly, if you say she is dating, you are making you are making a mockery. You are bringing down, you know, the standard of what I saw today. Your daughter was actually sitting in the open. She was kissing the man. There's a motion holding themselves. The way that we are going about it, Your Majesty, one can actually argue that the princess of Umuebe Kingdom is actually married to the man of Umurola. But, but how are you so sure that the man you saw there is a man from Umurola? How are you sure? So automatically what my king is telling me is that he, he is not even bothered with information that the daughter was caught kissing a man in the open. Oh, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. Well, to answer your question, your majesty, immediately I saw the I went into investigation and I started to ask questions. Immediately I saw the princess. You, if I, she was actually sitting right on the cost laps of the cost man of Umarala. Right in the restaurant in the open place, I found out that even the restaurant itself, that the man he was sitting on is not just a man of Umorola, but even the restaurant belongs to his maternal uncle, who is a man of Umorola too. Everything about that meeting, you Your Majesty, are very sure of this that my daughter, my own daughter, was kissing a man. Of Umorola. Of Umorola. Of Umorola. Your Majesty, no one could see a troll in the open. My, my own, a widow. Please, I want to give you a I want to give you a I want to give you a I am fine. I am fine. I am fine. I'm only trying to catch my breath. I'm fine. Sorry. Look, look. I'm annoyed with that. This is why I was not ready to say it. So you 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 mean my 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 daughter was kissing a, 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 a man of it who? has passed kissing. They were actually duvane kushia trolley in the open majesty. Even now, Your Majesty, I am not saying that somebody sent me this message. I am saying that I saw them. Dad, you begin to make me uncomfortable. Dad. Many years ago, for reasons yet to be determined, grown men, matured men, elderly men of Umurola, men that are old enough and capable of becoming titled men, men that are powerful enough to become kings like me, started dying mysteriously. Now, let me rephrase. Each time they decided to take a huge title, such as an odd Zor title, they die. They die painful, mysterious deaths. Dad... I am not done. When inquiries were made concerning those deaths, it was revealed that men of Umurola committed an abomination and as a result they were cursed once again let me rephrase they are cursed and the man that laid that curse on them died many years ago is there any way to lift that curse certainly no dad i i know where you are headed so with this but i i am still not done now i want you to listen keenly Umurola is a village in Umwebe. As a result of the cause, and the fact too that they end it from an abomination they committed many years ago, the people of Umwebe stopped to regard them as a clan. They started seeing them as an outcast, Osu. It therefore means that whoever that is associating with them in any form is regarded as an Osu. Dad, I... Now listen. Now that my daughter is deciding to marry a man of Umurola, a man that can never take any title whatsoever, 
A man that is under a heavy curse. A man that will only succeed in making her an osu. I begin to wonder what will become of me as a king and as your father. Would I also be regarded as an osu? Look, Dad, I, I think... Your look and sound so alarmed. Shocked and worried. Does that mean that you are dating a man of Omorola? Do, does that in any way mean that you are deeply involved with a man of Omorola? Your answer should be no. My answer is yes, Dad. Does it mean you don't know about the curse? Dad, I always knew about the curse. And that means you've decided to kill me. No. No, Dad. The gods forbid. Does that mean you'll listen to me and end up things with him? No, Dad. I love him. I'm sorry. We met some years back. And ever since then, we've been in love with each other. I can't just end things with him. One of the advantages or benefits of the festival of meetings is that no man can lie to or deceive a meeting of whom may be. Truth. Another advantage is that no maiden of whom we be will ever fall victim to a love charm. Yes, that is also true. My daughter has led the rituals of this festival for decades now. That is also true. Why then is her own case different? Your Majesty is speaking parables. I am asking, why is it my own daughter? The very one that has led the festival for so many years that has suddenly fallen victim to a love sham. How come she is the one that has ended up being deceived by a man? First and foremost, that is impossible. Is it, Gibia? I am telling you that my daughter is deeply in love with a man of Umurola. No, are you, are you really sure of what you are saying? Does it look like I'm joking? No, does it look like I am stupid? But are you talking about the same woman roller that you and I know? Is there another? Okay. Now I repeat. First and foremost, it is impossible, very, very impossible, that the princess of Umabe Kingdom can easily be hypnotized by any love charm from anybody. It's not possible. It is also impossible that the maiden of whom we have a kingdom can be deceived by any man. Not when she is involved, in fact, she is leading the festival of the maidens. So, if the princess tells you she is in love, that means she is in love. And that means that the princess is no longer qualified to lead the festival of the maidens. I know as a DBL. That is why I am here. You have to do something. Your Majesty, there is nothing I can do. Absolutely nothing. The only thing I can do is to remind you that the princess can no longer lead the festival of the maidens. And it is within the powers of the king to appoint another woman to do so. The, the, the princess has defied herself. So, appoint another woman to do so, or you wait for another 10 years. And the maidens of this kingdom will never, never forgive you if for any reason you cancel this festival this time. Father, 
Father, why are you ignoring me? Pushina, what is your problem? I came back to rest. Why can't you just allow me to have that rest? Even then, Father. A simple nod or shake of the head would do. But Father, the festival is just a few days away and no one has said anything to us regarding the preparations. By now we are supposed to have had a meeting with the princess regarding this festival but she is nowhere to be found. She is not back and no one is saying anything. Father, what really is happening? Father! Can I please have some rest, please? Can I? But Father, how can you be resting when all is not well? Iketa yala saganya. Iketa yala I am sorry, Onye Zenu Mwebe, but I am surprised with this call. My name is Wanzona Gwonere. Am I the one you called? Yes, I prepare love charms, but it's mainly for young people. You need an antidote for love charms? I am surprised what a, will a king will be, will be doing with a love charm. But yes, I can prepare it for you, Onyeze. A man who can build, they can equally destroy. Okay, as I am speaking with you now, I am in Umebe. But if you permit me, I will go to my shrine and I will get it for you, sir. I am Wanza and I go near you. I came before you, the ancient seat of Umebe Kingdom. I have succeeded in making love charms all over the world, except the maidens of Umebe Kingdom. And I gathered that it is because of you the ancient seats of the great Umebe kingdom. I came to pray for you to permit my love charms to be useful on the maidens of Umebe kingdom so that the men will also come back to patronize me. The ancient seat of Umebe Kingdom, if you will grant me this prayer, I will kill a cow for you. I pray. I came with Nzu. I came with Nzu, the ancient seat of Umebe Kingdom. Grant me my request. Inside this bottle is the most powerful antidote to a love sham in Igbo land. I want you to drink it. 
Take it! Dad, it's not going to work. I have been with Obiago for years now, and we've been in love ever since. Would you stop spouting rubbish and drink it? Drink it! I'm going to my room to catch some sleep. I don't have time for this. In a heart of all shouting, devils be cleansing in the land. In that case, she has left me with just one option. I will force her to drink what I want her to drink. Why will Eze, only Eze of Umwebe be asking me for antidote for love shop? Could it be that there is... Look, Dad, I, I think... Your look and sound so alarmed. Shocked and worried. Does that mean that you're dating a man of Omorola? Do, does that in any way mean that you're deeply involved with a man of Omorola? Your answer should be no. My answer is yes, Dad. was exactly where I left him. After I made her take the antidote. Where could she have gone then? My love, there's something I've noticed about you. Okay. Something like what? You are richer than you make people believe. I feel you are hiding your true self-worth from the people. Why? I am just an ordinary farmer. And farmers are not rich people, you know? <laughs> oh, my love. You are not just an ordinary farmer. You are involved in mechanized agriculture. And that is the future. You're already a part of the future and you should be proud. Proud? Oh no, that's not my lifestyle. You know, there is something they say about pride. I hope you know. I am not going to fall into that trap. I like to be me. I just like to live my simple life. <laughs> this is all my fault. This is all happening because I've not found that particular young man that I have been searching for. If I'd found him, the princess would have probably taken a liking to him by now. <sighs> this is one of the reasons I've been searching for him. Pardon me, Father, but... Um... You speak so highly of a man that you have not set your eyes on. You have never seen this man before, Father. What if he's an old man? What if he's some rickety old man sitting somewhere and communicating with you, Father? What if he's much older than you are? First of all, from his letters, I can tell you here and now, 
that the person that I have been dealing with is not an old man. He is a young man. Secondly, isn't any rickety old man better an option than a man from Umurala village? What if he's a married man, father? I'm sure he's not. You speak of a man, father, which you have never met before. And again, I will accept him any way he comes. It will be better than accepting any man from Umurala. Besides, what if your sister is in Umurala right now as we are talking? Oh well, we all know that she's there right now as we speak. Then I am pretty sure she is breaking things up with that young man. Dad. Why? Why, father? What will people say? What if the rumor spreads and everyone gets to hear about it? How would it make us look? Son, I am telling you that it is over. I think we should busy ourselves with putting a call through to our private investigator, asking him how far he has gone and finding our strange man. Because as far as I am concerned, that young man is your sister's husband. That is the only thing I can think to compensate him. Ignoring me now. We live in this house together. So one way or the other, you must tell me what I want to know. Ah. Uh, Father, this is not how you raised me. Oh. Father, this is not fair. Father, it's not fair. Why can't you just tell me what I want to know? Ah. Why can't you just... And I'm a Jew, and I'm a Jew. Oh, Guinea, come here, oh, put on you. Then I heard a voice shouting, There must be cleansing in the land. Go inside and get my neck beat fast. There must be cleansing in the land. Guinea, Guinea, come here, oh, put on you. Ugo, for you to come back here means there is something. What is it? Is it still about the princess? A rumor is going around the village that the princess was seen with a man from Omurola village. <laughs> it's not possible. It's not possible, Ugo. It is a lie and you know it. It is unheard of. Exactly my point. You and I know that the princess can never do anything like that. I am not losing sleep over it though. I cannot. But come on. Who in this land has the audacity to start up such a reckless rumor about the princess? It is unheard of. We both know that it's not possible. We know. See, I am not going to lose sleep over this. Because the princess cannot do it. <laughs> hey! Abi, is it possible that our maidens have become so jealous that they will start up a rumor just to tarnish the name of their own princess? You will be surprised that the extent people will go just to dent your image. Hey! I think they've ended up making a fool of themselves. 
You and I know that the princess can never do anything to disgrace us. At least not at the onset of the festival. Exactly. What would happen if the rumor was to be true? Exactly <laughs> my point. Ogo, the princess has too much class for this rubbish. Exactly. Apart from that, why would she want to sabotage the festival of maidens? Why? My point. No matter how I think about it, she already knows we will kill her if she dares. So why would she? No reason. She won't even dare. No reason at all. Ogo, if I discover the person that started this reckless rumor, Princess with I, a man of Umurola. I couldn't even believe when I heard it. I just had to run down to tell you. They did not say who started the room. I just heard people talking about it. <laughs> we'll find out who started this room. We have to. And they will regret it. Exactly, we have to. The fact that I've continued to come here should tell you something. I love you and I'm not giving up. Why are you talking like a drunk? You are a man from Umarola. You shouldn't be here. We shouldn't be having this conversation. <laughs> because you think I'm an outcast. Well, you have to have a rethink. The princess of your land is busy digging it out to the man of my land. What did you just say? What did you say? <laughs> you heard me right. If the princess can do it, why can't you? Get out. Did you hear what I said? I said you should get out! Get yourself out of here! How dare you insult my princess? How dare you? You had everything I said, right? But I will... <laughs> I wonder what you think you have that is more than that of the princess. <laughs> I blame myself for stopping so low to talk to a woman of your class. Get out. Don't let me lose it. <laughs> I said get out! And don't you ever, don't you ever step your feet here again. Even rock and the fool, or Chichi River and no good and you. And I'm a Jew and I'm a Jew, or Guinea come here, we will put a new. Then I heard a voice shouting. Why are you want to talk to me now? Hey, 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 talk to me now. Oh, are you a deaf and dumb? I've been calling you since and you're snubbing me. What's the problem? Is this not the son of Ishii Okoye from Omurola? Why is he speaking to me? Is he not aware that he is an outcast? Hey, wait, you need to stop being a snob. I'm talking to you now. Yeah? So you're still seeing me as an outcast? when your princess is out there giving out one man in my village. What did you just say? <sighs> so you didn't talk. I've been talking to you since you snubbed me. Yes, now. Nah. I'm asking you a question. What did you just say? I believe you heard me right. Yes. In the world is in you that is better than the one in the princess. That she gives it to my cousin anyhow. Anywhere. Come off it now. Nah. I can't take this. Oh, listen. Come on, come on, go. Listen I to me. I cannot take this. Come on, listen to me. You see, going to the palace is not going to solve this problem at all. I am not going to take this. I won't take this. This is rubbish. This is rubbish. This is so unfair. An insult to all of us. Did you know what it means? I am going in there to confront her. Let her look at me in my eyes and tell me that she did not do it. Or oh, yes, she did it. She has to. This is rubbish. I write nonsense. I cannot take it. See, listen, I want the same thing. We are thinking in the same way, but this is not the right way. Then how? How would you? How? You want to walk into the palace and confront the king's daughter, for God's sake. Why don't you just calm down and let's think about the best way to go about oh. it. You want me to calm down? Yes. Okay, fine, fine. I am coming down. I'm coming down now. Please tell me. What do you suggest? What is your best way? Now, let me remind you that Umwebe have a group of executive body which you and I belong to. Why don't we call in the others, tell them what's on ground, and then we can think of the best way to approach Princess Afoma. Wow. Maybe I don't have patience for that. Yes, because I am going in there right now, and this moment, to confront her. 
Let her look at me in my eyes. Let her open her mouth to tell me that she has not disgraced the maidens of Omo by yet. That is what I'm going to do. Omo, come on, If you don't calm down, you are seeing this thing. Eh? Would you? If you don't calm down, this whole thing is going to blow up on your face. Would you? Just calm down now. Okay? Calm down and listen. Now, if you, if you get to that palace, there are guards there. You just want to walk in there and confront her just like that. Ha! This is not the right thing to do. Let's just go home. Eh? Next time, let's go home. It's not today, please. Let's go. <laughs> okay. There is something about me that I've never told anyone. But I'm going to tell you. You know why? Why? Because you are the center of my life. And what could that be? All the money in my account are from the government, through the Bank of Agriculture. But you know, I tried to stay away from extravagant kind of life, just to avoid being disqualified. Okay. But I hope you know I'm not interested in your money. I just love you and I want to be with you. And I love you too. And we'll always love you. Anyways, I came with some food items. I want to prepare a delicious meal for my man. I hope you don't mind. A princess like you wants to cook for a farmer. <laughs> Me? Well, I'm already used to it. I enjoy cooking. Anyways, when I'm done cooking, we'll talk about your mechanized agriculture and all the plenty money you have in your account. See you soon. No tradition can change my love for you. No culture can change the way I love you. You are very kind. You're welcome. Son? My father is here. Where have you been? A lot has happened in the palace today, and you are. Who is she? She's my friend, Dad. Greetings, Your Majesty. Greetings. Father, um, let's talk. I'm right behind you. After you, Dad. I'll be back.